Last month, the Minnesota Green Party introduced former Democratic Congressman uh, Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney as a Green presidential candidate. This last Saturday, the party gathered supporters at the Midtown Market to introduce two more members of its slate of 2008 presidential candidates. Against the bustle of the Midtown Market, Green Party candidates Jesse Johnson and Kat Swift delivered relaxed, informal stump speeches. Johnson is the chair of West Virginia's Mountain Party, an affiliate of the National Green Party with a similar environmental, social, and economic justice platform. He ran for governor in 2004, winning 3% of the vote on a shoestring budget. In 2006, he ran for West Virginia's Senate seat against longtime Democratic incumbent Robert Byrd because of the senator's close connections with the coal and timber industries. He cites environmental issues and campaign finance reform as his top issues. Corporations are not people. They're not good citizens. And they're not mortal citizens. And they're certainly not moral citizens. Swift hails from San Antonio, Texas, where she recently ran for city council against Mary Alice Cisneros, wife of Henry Cisneros, a former Clinton administration cabinet member and longtime San Antonio politician. They've got a big machine. I managed to get 29.5% against her as a last minute filer, no campaign staff at all, no campaign manager, and only spent $3,000. She spent um, about 20 times more than I did. Swift read a laundry list of progressive issues she would promote if elected president and cites public interest in changes and opportunity for Green Party building. She hopes her candidacy will help the Green Party strengthen its presidential support committee. There are three other Green Party presidential candidates, independent journalist and Morgan State University professor Jared Ball, former U.S. Congress member Cynthia McKinney, and San Diego Air Quality Inspector Kent Mesplay. There is a campaign to draft Ralph Nader, but he has not said he will run. Farheen Hakim, who ran for Hennepin County Commissioner in 2006 and is now running for state representative for District 61B, also spoke at the Saturday event. She is supporting McKinney's candidacy because she believes McKinney can bring more people of color to the Green Party's ranks. If we say that we support immigrants and immigrant rights, if we say that we support the idea of just restoration and can we even talk about it, if we say we support the rights of indigenous people in this state, then guess what? We need to have those people at the table. We need to have constituent leadership. We need to have them be part of the political process here, ready to speak, and are part of what we see as a greater new brown, black, and green party. For the KFEI Evening News, this is Hillary Johnson. The Green Party caucuses will be held on March 4th.